Well, folks, the old fisherman's getting old. Look how I shine my boat with no rope on it. Luckily, there's another fella here unloading. He's got him a nice boat, and uh, he's going to give me a ride out. I tell you what, you lose your focus, this is what happens right there. You see the old boat out there by itself, and I ain't in it. No rope. So it pays not to, not to lose your focus, and this young fella here is going to bring me out there to my boat. I appreciate y'all watching. We'll get right back with you. Folks, look at there. That's old Joe. He's from Maryland. He come down to South Carolina. We got in the boat. He gave me a ride out of my boat. Appreciate it, Joe. Thank God for you today. Yes, sir. Right. Good morning, folks. Hey, the old fisherman back with you. We on Lake Mon uh, Murray this morning. I almost said Monticello. We're going to try to catch some strappers. They all out in here. They were here yesterday. All we're going to do is cast a money mountain. We got a uh, braid line to a swivel, number 12 or 10 swivel. And, uh, and then we're going down to a 3 8 or a quarter ounce lead head jig. Peanut craft. I got 12 pound test line. And that's what it looks like right there. That's a uh, yeah, young money mountain. And all we're going to do is cast it <coughs> over these points. These uh, strappers have been pushing uh hair it in on the points but now the only difference is today and yesterday it was really windy yesterday and there might not be none up here today i don't know <clears throat> but they were in here yesterday i can tell you that much we killed them but now total different day today no wind i sent a few strappers out off the edge so they might be hanging out deeper today we might have to just cast it out, let it sink down, and bring it in that day. But anyhow, we'll figure out something. We'll find them somewhere. We might have to find a windy point. Wind's blowing out a different direction today. Yesterday it was blowing out the uh, east, and today it's blowing out the northwest. But we didn't get here until later yesterday, so they might move in on up into the morning. We might do a little searching. Figure out where they at today. They, they wherever the herring are is where they gonna be. And uh, that's the deal. I ain't seeing no gull activity today. See, yesterday it was gulls circling around. Day is none. That's the way it is now. You find them one day. I don't mean they're gonna be there the next. That wind and, and, and the water being mucked up in here yesterday had to, made the difference. Made a big difference. I can tell you right now, they're not here today. Not yet. That's not a good sign. That's not a good sign at all. I got to look for some gulls. I get it. There's one. He's up on the point. He's up on the point. Oh, Lord. He's up on the point. Way up on the point. Okay. We got our first fish of the day, folks. I know we're looking right into the sun. We got our first fish of the day. I knew it'd be one up there. That's a nice one, too. Ain't no baby. That ain't no baby. Oh, my. Ain't no baby. I can tell you that right now. Let's get this camera around here ready. A little bit better. Get our net out. We ain't even got the net out yet. <clears throat> huh? What? It's a good one. It might be a keeper already. We just gonna keep five uh, over 21 inches. Huh? This might not be over 21 inches, but he sure is pulling. He sure is pulling, folks. Love catching these things. I'm going to tell you, I was tired last night to have to catch them yesterday. <clears throat> that might be 21. That might be 21 right there. Right off the bat. You see him? See that? Hey, that's a pretty one, ain't it? Look at that. That is a pretty one. I tell you, I've been catching crappy. And, uh, I'm not used to catching these old heavy pulling fish. They wore me out yesterday. I don't mind telling, look at that. We got a little marking right here on my, that's not quite 21. We got to let him go. 
huh? We got to let him go. All right, that's number one. Catch and release. Probably what we'd be doing most of the day. When it comes to June, you got to keep five and go home. Now you can catch them and release them. And you got to love that. All right, see if we can get him done up. He's right up on the point. He was right up on the point. A little fish. He was about 20 inches. <sighs> we get the wind gets up, it'll be better. Wind is the key to bringing these fish in. And the angle is the key. Yesterday, I pulled right up on O. The jig's already tearing up. I tell you, I can't keep the jig. These money metals tear up so easy. Let's see if I can find a nut down here. That ain't to whoop. I think there's one right there. They don't last long, folks. They just don't last. All I do is I thread him right on the end. This one has been used, too. It's got a little crook in him. Yeah, that means that's the reason I took him off. It's crooked. If they come out the pack crooked, they don't swim straight. If they don't swim straight, they don't want them. I mean, you might accidentally catch one ever so often on a, on a crooked one, but <clears throat> I hate the wind blowing this direction because now I got to throw into the wind. It's hard to do that. Folks, we got one hit it right here on the bank. He hit it right on the bank, right here at the boat. He's a nice one, too. He's a good one. Look at that. Huh? Look at that. Look at that joker. There was one behind him, too. He got one behind him, also. Get him around this side over here. All right, boy, he swallowed it, too. Let me tell you. He swallowed it. He swallowed it. Yeah. I mean, he swallowed it. Look at that. Huh? Look at that. Oh, no, this camera ain't even working. Look at that. Ow. Doggone it. Y'all see him. He ain't 21 inches, but y'all see a number two. Let's let him go. Number two. See if we get a nut. I think they're gonna be coming in here. I think they don't start real early. What I think. They come in here looking for hair. It's a deep channel all around here. And we at right angle pulling it back in. Not a lot of them in here now. Wind ain't windy enough. What it is? 
It just ain't windy enough. Pull up here a little bit. There he is. There he is. He nailed it. He nailed it. He nailed it. The jokers know they can pull here. I'm telling you right now, they can flat pull. They fun to catch. They all right on the side, every one of them. Every one of them. Right up on the sides. Y'all see them? Yeah, the, hey, a pretty one in. He's a pretty one. See him right there? Problem is, I got this net. I got the, the marking on my net. Ain't quite, quite gonna make it. Y'all see him though? See him? Pretty fish. Let's let him go. All right, that's three. And ain't got a keeper yet. How about that? Throw it back down, Yana. I'm thinking they're gonna be over here on the shady side. What I'm thinking. Seems like every one I've caught has been kind of shallow. Every one of them. There he is. On the shady side over here. That's where they at. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. And all of them nice ones. When they, when they get that long, they pull. Oh my, they pull. They pull. They pull. Hey, they. Huh. Number four. Number four. That might be a keeper. Don't know yet. Don't know yet. Oh, he's a nice one. He's a nice one. Yeah, this, I believe this is a keeper. I ain't sure, though. You can't tell you. The jokers pull. All of them pull. Keepers are not. Y'all see him? Look at him. What? We gonna measure him? Mm. Told what my dog gonna jig. These young bucks come right in on top of you. Apparently can't see.
All right, you see him. Let's measure him. Nope, ain't gonna make it. Let's let him go. That boat come right on top of me. Apparently he couldn't see. Them boys are something. I tell you what, these little young boys, they are something. That's all I got to say. He was coming straight in on me. Then he don't want to make eye contact with you after he's done messed up. He's not paying attention. All right, let's go back out to get nothing. What y'all say? See, most of these people who come here or any point, first thing they do is they stop out there and throw in. Old fisherman don't do that. First thing he does is goes to the bank most of the time and throw out. After I get that real shallow area fished. <sighs> hey, yeah, in the shade. Oh, he nailed it, too. He nailed it. Oh, my. He nailed it. He nailed it. Number five. I think it's five. I can't keep count. He nailed it. I'm going to try to keep count today. I need a, a clicker. He nailed it. Still same size, though. I'm thinking... Yep, right up under the, the keeper side. He, he nailed it. Ah, that a little longer though, he might make it. Yep, let's see. Nope. Ain't quite gonna make it. Y'all see him though? Hey, he killed it, I tell you that. Money, money, look at that. Huh? Look at that, look at that. Old fisherman, look at that. Let's let him go. All right. About to eat my jig up. I call it jig, I call it everything on a on a lead head G. Then I got it all messed up. Mike can't catch nothing on it. Tell you this, don't last. You catch a couple and they tore up. And them things are high dollar. I'm telling you, they high dollar. You got to try to make it work. Let's see if we can get another on him. In the shade over here's where they at. Right out in the shade. It's a little dip. Ah. Get this net down, I'll be done. Slung something against it. See him. Let's see if he's 
Nope. No keeper. Same size. So let him go. We got to get another jig. We're running out of jigs. We're going through like hotcakes. Dang, that much. I'm talking hotcakes. back home. I like it better. Don't none of them last. The strappers tear them all up. I can tell you that. Them strikers, they mean. They tear up all these doggone baits. Nothing out there. Get nothing. Hey, the camera, I can't keep the camera going in the right spot. <sighs> so we get another. We had a little wind on here, we'd be killing. Problem is, there ain't no wind, the, the direction's wrong. I didn't know. Well, I'm thinking because I've got a little wind over there. A little ripple. There you go. See that? Come on. That's where they're going to be. That's where they're going to be. Caught a keeper yet. Mm -hmm. And that's something. Seven fish ain't caught a keeper yet. That's a nice pool though. No doubt about that. Same size, they all the same size. Yes, so short. Same side. Yep. Same side. Yep. What? Look at that. Look at that, look at that, look at the hell fish. Calm down. And quiet the right side. See that? There you go. Might go on the other side over in that shade and catch a couple more. Maybe. There you go. Got nothing right here. That was all. Awesome. Got nothing right here. He nailed it. He nailed it. What? He nailed it. I ain't lying. He nailed it. He stuffed it. That's pretty good. That is a pretty good one. pounds. Bad when you got to have a four pound fish or five pound fish to be able to keep it. That's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Y'all see it. That's eight. Huh. I think that's eight. That's right. That's measuring. Oh, 
too strong. I'm gonna let him go. Too strong, can't hold him. He's about 20 inches. He's about 20 inches. He does nothing about it. Catch one bigger in a minute, don't you reckon? We can keep. That's a nice one. Yo, you know what they can pull. They killing the money matter. Oh Lord, there's two or three behind this one. Underneath. See, I need to have double jigs on y'all. We be catching two or three. If I ain't double jigs, we be catching two or three. You ain't killing that. That might be a keep. That's a keep right there. That's 21 inches. Yeah, that goes in the box. I only got one big enough to keep. Calm down. Calm down. Hey, number eight, I think I said nine. That's big enough to keep. That's big enough for filet. Logie will like that one. You see him? That's big enough to filet that. You can keep this one. All right. Finally got a keeper. Lord have mercy. Hey, this old point's the place to be, though. No? There's no doubt about that. It is the place to be to catch it. Tore up this chicken. See if I can get him back on there, some kind of way. Got way in there. Sure you can. Plenty of them. I want to bring them in here. Taking off line. Hey, day. That's a good fish right there. That's definitely a keeper. Pulling like that, that's got to be a keeper. That has got to be a keeper. Oh, this wind makes a difference in the bite. Oh, God. I guarantee if I had another jig on there, I'd be getting two at a time. Really need to do that. That's a good fish right here. Definitely a keeper. That moved in here. Because of the wind. Only reason. That's a big mama right there. Fetch it, big female. Fetch it. I guarantee you on that. There's no doubt about this being a keeper. Not a bit. Pulling like that. Definitely a keeper. Oh yeah. That's two keepers straight. Maybe they're bigger to move in. That's about a 23 inch fish right there. At least. Is a good one. Check, my friend. Is a good one. Yes, sir. That, my friend, is a good one. Don't get him in the net. I haven't got him in the net yet. It's bigger than the net. 
got him now though. Oh Lord. We got him now. That's a keeper. I think that's number nine. I think. Definitely a keeper. That's a good one. That. Boy, he creamed that dog on G. Creamed it. He creamed it. Hey, hey, look at that. Huh? That's a good one right there, boys. That's a good one. What? Definitely goes in the box. Good. That's two. Two keepers out of nine. Hey, he hit that dog on AATJ. Yeah. I think I'm calling it right. Might be ATT. I think it's AAT. <coughs> Anyhow, y'all see it. Bigger. It ain't, I got some smaller. This is a pretty good size one right here. Gonna rip it out, though. Can't catch me. Catch more on this, you can the money, brother. But, uh, it's heavy. Money gonna throw a lot, brother. See, you're loving by that. I'm loving this. Hey, that probably gonna start biting now. Up into the day of the wind blowing. Do it this way. Got a couple of guns circling in here. Something going on out there. I might have put on another money man. I'm about to have one hit it right there. <laughs> he was following it and I went speed up and he took it right there. He ain't no keeper, but he took it right there. Oh, he grabbed that thing. <laughs> See, the advantage of having that boat on the bank almost is them fish don't pick the boat up. They just don't pick it up. They'll get right up to you. Where it is out over the big water, they see that boat. That's a little tip from the old fish hunting taught them net. Again, I think that's 11 that I'm caught today. I think it's 11. Y'all huh. see him? Let him go. He creamed it. Tore it up though. Every fish you got to reweave it. Oh, that wind blowing now. I'll tell you that much. See, we get a nothing on him. They last better than the money metals, no doubt. Throw it back across China. But I do think they bite the money metal better. I really do. He casts better, too. They don't last better, though. I'm going to tell you that. They just don't last at all. Oh, caught a couple, and then they quit. There he is. Got a nothing. Right when I thought they'd have gone, we got a nud. Got a nud. What? Got a nud. That joke is pulling too. It must be a pretty good fish. Gee. He pulling like he is. He, I don't think he's a keeper. I don't know. Uh, I, think, I think that's 12. I think that's 12 I done caught that day. Calm down, boy. Calm down. Y'all see him? Pretty fish. Gotta let him go though. 
They still hitting that old G. Go back this way one. That old wind's coming and going. I wish it stirred the water. What I don't want to do is get my motor back there on these rocks. And he was right behind that thing. A little nut behind it. They ain't hitting it. They seeing it, they ain't hitting it. What it is, we got to get another color of something else on. They ain't wanting this thing. That's what it is, they ain't wanting it. I throw the money man out there, see if I got another rod with the money man on. <laughs> see what happens. They're not committing on it. They seen it, get behind it, and they're not committing. That's what it is. This thing here is aggravating as the devil also. I don't know what's wrong with it. I'm about to get, take off this braid line. This braid line is not casting good now for some reason. Especially in the wind. I always thought braid line cast better than the other line, but I ain't too sure of it no more. I like catching them on this rod better because it's got some limitless on the end. It's harder to cast the braid line though. You can't whip it. That's for sure. You go to whip it and it won't it won't work. There he is. There he is. He nailed it. He nailed it. Oh my, he nailed it. That's a good fish right there. He going with it. That's another keeper. That, my friend, is another keeper. I can tell you that much. I can tell the way he hit. Come a darn bass boat. Right, he don't see me sitting here either. Coming straight to me. These boys are something, these bass boats. This is a good fish right here. This is a keeper. You sitting up against the bank like this, they think they don't see you. And they think ain't nobody here. And then they get right on top of you. Then they, then they want to stop. This, this fish right here is a whopper. This fish right here is a darn sure keeper. I can guarantee you on that. I believe it's 13 or 14. I can't keep count. But this definitely a keeper. He nailed it too. He's out deeper. So I can get this rod here a little bit deeper than I could the other one. Drag's a little loose, that might be a reason. Oh, the gull's coming in on me now. This is good fish right here. I can tell you that right now. Big fish, big fish. Somebody on my crappy video commented, you say they're big fish, well how about measuring one? What's measuring got to do? Some lakes got fat crappies, and they're shorter. Some lakes got long, skinny crappies that don't weigh nothing. You can't go by the length of a fish. You got to go by the weight of a fish. My crappies I've been catching monocellus is anywhere from 14 to 17 inches long. You might have a few 13 inches. This right here? You're getting a big fish, my friend. That's an animal feel up in there. I can tell you that much. He is definitely gonna fill up the net. This net weigh about eight pounds of belt. Oh Lord have mercy. What a fish. What? Now that my friend is what you call. It 
a fish. That is the kind we've been wanting to catch. Ow! That's the kind that hurts you too. Let me tell you, he's a good one. He's a kind you read about in Striper Magazine. That's a good fish right there. That's a long. Now look at that water fish. What? Now that, my friend, is a whopper. Look at the size of that doggone fish. That one goes in the box. That's a uh, Logan's blade striper for the week. Huh? Love that. That's a good one. This kind of read about striper magazine. Wind's blowing and fish start biting. What's happening? See if we fix this. I'm going to tell you the money metal is better than that other jet. But tear it up so bad. It tear it up so bad. Go back out to see we get another. Oh Lord. That line done pulling that trick again. When you pull a fish in tight like that and it puts stretch on that uh, tightness on that uh, braid, when you go to cast the next time, you don't want to cast right. It's like it dug into itself. That's the only thing I got to get is braid. Digs into itself. That fish was out father. There you got another. Hey, they coming in here now. They biting now. Oh my, they biting now. Hey, they. You got to love it. I don't know if this is a keeper now. We got three keepers now. I'm not sure about this one. They biting now. That wind is the key. The wind is the key. Catch it. He's trying. Wind. Look at that. Huh? Look at that. They don't come in with the wind. You might hold off on a bigger keeper. Mm. Calm down. Did you get a fit? What's wrong with that one? Huh? Ain't somebody here. I got the man on my net. Nope, no keeper. Y'all see him though. He's a pretty one. Got to let him go. As bad as I hate to. I want to strap a blade one night. Them jokers and mustard is good crappies. Alright, let's see if we can fix this thing back up. They're killing these uh, money members. Wearing them out. It don't make no difference white color so far. As long as the money mother. I think it's three and a half inch version. When that wind started, the fish started. Uh-oh. That dog on jig won't stay up now. We have to rehook it. If we can. Anybody can. without messing up. Alright. Let's lang it out. Oh come on. I'm gonna get rid of the braid line. I'm gonna tell you that right now. It casts good when it wants to, but once you catch a fish and it digs back in there at the bottom, it wants to hang up going out and that my friend is aggravating the devil out of me. I'm gonna have to do something about that. 
I'm definitely gonna have to do something like that. Let's see get in that. Oh, there he is. He nailed it. Oh, Lord, he nailed it. Oh, Lord, we got it going on, eh? I think this is number 14 or 15. It's a good on him, too. Huh? Killing that money, man. They just absolutely kill it. That bleeding money, man. Oh, my gosh. Wind blowing points is what you want, folks. Oh. We on a good one. Right we on a good one. Wind blowing points. Nothing wrong with him. Look at that. Is he big enough? I don't know. Nope. Ain't quite big enough. It takes big fish. 21 inches. Look at that. Huh? Look at that. Look at that. Old fisherman, look at that. He's putting it to him, man. He's putting it to this money, man. I ain't got this thing pulled slam up. Huh? We're going to try to get another one. Winds quit. I am mess around tying. Cost me fish. They're probably on the other side over there because it's windy. Over there. There's one. There's one. There's one. There he goes. Oh my. There he goes. Oh my. Oh my. There he goes. <clears throat> Pop lock it. There he goes. That's number 16, I think. I think that's 16. <clears throat> As a pulling sucker, too, let me tell you. That is a pulling sucker right there. I don't think it's a keeper though. I don't think. I don't know, he might be. He might be. He might be. What? He might be. Look at that, look at that, look at that. I believe he is, yeah, he's a keeper. That's 16. Calm down, boy. That's like a stuck it. That's a good one. What? That's a good one. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I'm going to put him in here for a little bit. Hi. Right. See if we can get a nothing. How about that? We caught our jig that broke off, and we just caught another fish with it. Hey, you got a bonus. Got a bonus. Let's get a nudge. What y'all say? I knew them fish had moved out here on the side. Them gulls was out here. And the wind's starting back the other way again. I'll tell you what. Now we can go back up where we was at again, probably. We'll work this side before we go back. There you got a nothing. Got a nothing. <laughs> Number 17. Oh my. I'm loving this. I'm loving that. That's a nice fish right there. They're all nice. They just ain't no whoppers. Some of them. That's a good one. I don't know about a keeper, but he's a good one. What? We laying it to him right here, boys. I can tell you that. We laying it to him. Now, there ain't no keeper, I don't think. Well, we laying it to him. We having us a good time catching these doggone strappers today. Huh? Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. 
Not a keeper. 17. Calm down. Calm down, I said. He ain't gonna be no keeper, but he's 17. Hey, gum ya. Tell you what. Look at that. Ain't that a pretty one? Look at that, look at that. Let's let him go. Look at that. I'm about straighten that hook out. Look at that thing. We need to do a little bending on that baby. <clears throat> Tell you what, them some good hooks. The wider the bend, the better. That other one didn't have, ain't got the hook bend. The wide gap is this one. That's why I didn't like it as much. <laughs> them hooks ain't cheap like that. Now, I'll tell you that right now. They expensive. All right. So we get another one. All we done is push back on this side of the point. We get we get this side fish, we'll go back on the other side. Ain't no sense of going nowhere. The fish are moving in and out. You sit right here. Stay right here where you got them moving, feeding, and pluck them. What you do. You never know when another another little school's gonna come up on this point to feed. Anytime you get fish feeding on the point, your best set the bass, stripers, white bass, don't make no difference. Best set the That's over 40 fish I done caught. Actually, it's probably getting close to 50 I done caught over here in two days. Hey, oh, had a bite. Got him again. Got him again. Got him again. Oh my, got him again. Oh Lord. Number 18 or 19? Y'all tell me, I don't forgot. That might be a keeper right there. That might be a keeper right there. <clears throat> that might be a keeper right there, folks. No, he ain't no keeper, but he's a good one. He's a good one. He's a good one. Hey, day. He's a good one. <clears throat> Sir, what? Oh, Lord, look at that. Huh, look at that, look at that. Old fisherman, look at that. Huh, that's a pretty one, ain't it? Y'all see him? Look at that. Let's let him go. <clears throat> I done caught a pile of them on that thing. Y'all can see it's all tore up. Look at that. I ought to be ashamed of myself to throw that back. There ain't no way you're going to catch a nut on that thing. You reckon? Let's see. <laughs> If it stays together and it wiggles, he might bite it. Huh? That's what I'm talking about. <clears throat> there you. There you. There he is. There he is. Y'all tell me how many that is. Is that 18 or 19? I don't know. Might be 20. Might be 20. I tell you what, they all come out the same mold. I ain't lying. They all come out the same mold. <laughs> Pile of them in here that size. There's a big one behind it. A big one behind it. Okay. Uh, look at that. 
Look at that, look at that. We're gonna tore my net up again. Look at there. We're gonna have to re we're gonna have to mend our net again. These rockfish will tear up everything. Tear your hands up, tear your net up, tear you up. Y'all see it? We got a, another 18 inch fish. Huh? What? Let's let him go. What? And tore this jig up. Man, them things are, I, I, I think they're about 10 bucks for five. About two dollars a piece, and I'm going through them like they ain't nothing. And I can't keep them where I can use them. Might get another night of him. We got to tie this net again. My tie done come loose. Got to do a little mending, y'all. Huh? We just got to. That money metal might make a big difference. He ain't getting this. There you Finally got one. Finally got one. Oh yeah, we finally got one. I knew darn well it hit this thing. Had to. Oh my. What? Oh my. Come on in here, boy. Come on in here to the old fisherman. I don't think he's a keeper. I don't think he's a keeper. The wind picked up and the fish come back in. What it takes. Reflection in the water means everything. Again, hey, look at yonder. Oh my, look at yonder, look at yonder. We got two or three behind him. They all behind him. And see what we're doing? We're bringing them into the bank here. So we ain't running them off. That's a nice fish. Nothing wrong with that one. About three pounds, three and a half. Look at that, look at that, look at that. What? Calm down, boy. I bet Richard Jane would love some of this action. I don't think he catches a lot of striper. No. I'm just saying. It's fun where you're out, though. My God, casting. And dealing with these strappers will wear you out. I can tell you that. That joker's done wiggled. And got my doggone pants in the hook. I don't want to tear up my jig, fish. Dad, blame it. Here you come. Look at that, look at that, look at that. <clears throat> well, tore it up. <laughs> One fish tore it up. One fish. I don't know if I can rehook it or not. We're going to try. One fish tore it up. Golly bum. See if we can rehook it now. I hate to make it shorter. If I'm gonna use it, I got to make it shorter. Yeah, I believe they'll bite that. Let's try it again. Throw it back out there. I don't like I don't like the way that thing looks right now. I shortened it up. Oh, there he goes, though. We got a fish on it. 
I shorten it up, and here he goes. Hey, that's pretty good one. That joke was taking off. That might be a big fish right there. That, that might be another keeper. That might be, I don't know. That might be another keeper. That's a good fish right there. That joke was pulling. That joke was pulling. Hey, day. He's pulling. What? Ah, uh, he ain't no keeper. That sucker sure is fighting. That's a fighting thing right there. Look at yonder, look at yonder. Look at yonder. Boy, he stuck it to him. He stuck it. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. I've wanted to fight in this little fish I have. That sucker's mean. It can be hard to get off, too. There it is. Y'all see him? Look at that. Huh? Look at there. Look at there. He gone. Look at that. Mighty little. One thing about using little now, because a lot of the herring ain't that big out there now. The small herring. It's done got too slick. If it don't, Get another wind gust. It's O V E R. And that spells over. We need some wind. Look, oh, there he is. Got another. Enough. You see the advantage of sitting here on the bank? You're pulling that thing in. They're pushing the shad this direction. So we got the bait going the same direction as the shad's going into the bank when they when they after them. And that's why. We catching fish like this. That, that's a nice fish. That might be a keeper. The water's clear as the devil. And we still catching them because we sitting here on the bank. See that? That's what we're doing. He took it though. It's gone this time. Ain't got to worry about that one no more. Ain't nothing there but the head. Huh. Nothing there but the head. We got to get another one now. They hitting that thing though. Y'all see it? Look at that. Huh? 17, 18 inch fit. Let him go. Let's go get us another uh, jig. Hey, it ain't cheap to go fishing no more with gas and baits and lines and all that stuff that goes along with it. It ain't cheap. Because, uh oh, we on the bank back here now. That ain't good. Pull off the bank, old fisherman. You had the motor on the bank. Uh oh, I see fish hitting out yonder. They still hitting out there. All right, let's stop it right there. See if we get a nothing. Oh, come on. I hate that. This rod's got a little spring on the end, and I think that's what's causing that. That stiff rod don't do that. It comes to win. Hey, yeah. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Goes that flying pontoon again. Got him. <clears throat> we got him. Uh, about the same size, though. That's a nice one, though. <laughs> what? That's a nice one. Oh, that might be a keeper. It's gonna be close. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's gonna be close. They all come out the same mold, I tell you. <laughs> Next year they'll be all keepers. If they make it, 
darn if didn't tear my jig off. I just put on brand new and gone. Tore it off. I think another one. No, it ain't. It's still there. I couldn't see it. It's still there. Tell you what, he wouldn't have got off in a million years. Lord have mercy. I don't know if I can get him off. Calm down, boy. Calm down. Mm. We have a hard time with this one. A real hard time. He's gonna tear my jig up the way he's gonna do. Guarantee you on that. He got double hooked. That's what it is. I don't know if I can get him out or not. Now, there he goes. Uh, got that dog on jig, sucked down his belly. Let's measure it. Not quite. Got to let him go. He's gone. Hey, day. Thing was double hooked in there somehow or another. Here, yeah, got a nut. That joker hit it going down. That's a nice fish. Oh my, that's a nice. The joker's pulling now. He's pulling. He's pulling. Hey, day. Look at yonder, look at yonder. How many we going to catch? Look at yonder. You're catching strappers about as many as you catch crappies. Lord have mercy. If we could have kept all these fish, we'd have a 48 quart cooler slam full. Shoot, we wouldn't have been able to put them in a 48 quart cooler. I can tell you that. And if you like to catch fish, this is the way to go. That dog gonna hook. They hooking that self big time too. They eating that thing. They eating that thing, tearing it up. Look at that. Huh? Let's let him go. Tearing it up.